work on, work on. We are welcome tonight. From Mega Video Production, aka Black Nail. Wherever you're watching, thank you very much for being on board today. My topic today, I'm still repeating the same topic as usual. This is a very vital issue to be treated. So, I'll be talking about uh, mountain. I'll be talking about mountain. I'll be talking about mountain. Mountain. So, wherever you're watching tonight. So, my brothers and sisters over there watching Life on the Red, thank you very much for being online today. Tonight, wherever you are watching from, wherever part of the world you are watching from, this is Mega Video Production. I'm still repeating the same program, Mountain. I uh, you know why I want to emphasize on this mountain that uh, most of us don't understand very well when we talk about mountain. Thank you very much for being online today. What I'm still emphasizing on this uh, word mountain is because you see, we see a lot of uh, programs going on in some so-called uh, churches and all first of all i've introduced myself you can call me the ceo of mega video pro on my facebook you can call me black nero but one thing i want to let everybody know on this topic this topic must not, must not be for everybody the channel must not be for everybody. I know not everybody will love to hear the truth. The truth is not for everybody. I always hear people talk about uh, going to mountain, 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 talking about mountain to pray, to con go and collect key one thing of the other. You see, sometimes when I see certain things, I felt bad seeing it happening although in life not that we can change everything but at least I have my role to play I have my part to play so this program is not a sponsor program only thing you can do to help this channel grow is if you have if you are getting any value from this channel if you are picking something, if you are understanding something, you want it to go viral, you want other people to gain from it, the best thing you can do is to help me share this chat, this uh, content I'm reviewing tonight. So, do me a favor, share it. If you wish to do so, I don't, on this channel, I don't force anybody to do anything so if you feel like you do if not let's get start so i was talking about uh, mountain as emphasized in the scripture in the bible so as i was saying i say it is very good as a christian as a human being uh, to go to a mountain but first of all before I would go further to talk about Martin, I want to, in my own definition of Martin, to my own point of understanding of Martin, 
my mountains talk about uh, what I understand about mountain is that quiet place that quiet place that, that moment you have to meditate just like a student if you want to study maybe for one thing or the other maybe come for exam one thing or the other you need a quiet place to study mountain talk of that quiet place is that place where there is nothing nothing disturbing there is nothing that will distract you or one thing or the other mountain talk of a silent place where there is with no thing to distract you from doing one thing or the other so mountain uh my brothers and sister if you want to go to mountain you say you are planning to go to mountain mountain is that place in your heart in your mind that you feel that it, you don't want to have anything that is there's nothing disturbing you in your mind that you are not holding anybody bondage that is mountain for you please if you are watching this program do me a favor to share it so that you can get to other people tomorrow i will see continue on another new topic but one thing i want to talk about uh, this uh, mountain mountain it talks about that quiet place that quiet place in your heart that is your heart when we talk about church church is your mindset your mindset your inner mind we talk about author it's uh, in your in inner, inner mind so it doesn't matter how far you travel it doesn't matter how long you travel it doesn't matter how kilometer how many miles you travel to go to martin martin is that place that is in your it's in your heart i don't see reason why many people you see them going to different places showing us a mountain showing us key they went here and collect one thing or the other please don't be deceived don't be deceived. I'm not talking. This is not. This is not about the <coughs> your level of education. This is not the level of whatever thing. This based on the intellectual you have been growing within yourself, within your inner self. That you are educated, you are a medical doctor, or whatever thing does not mean that you know everything. Does not mean that you have sense. You might good in your feet, in your area of feet, but sometimes you might be lacking that sense of understanding, that sense of knowledge when it comes to a time say, mountain. Mountain. When we talk about mountain, don't be deceived. You are going here, you want to go here, you want to go here and pray. If you understand the word omnipotent God, omnipotent God, omnipotent God, the meaning of omnipotent God means God is in everywhere. God is in every place. God is in every place you can think about. So I don't God is not living in heaven. God is in everywhere you can think about. Find that quiet place in your heart. And first of all, before you say you want to go to Martin, Martin, you need to liberate your mind your mind you are not holding anybody bondage nobody is stopping you nobody is holding you from moving forward that's why on this program i call it focus this year 2022 is focus you need to focus on what you want in this life you need to put that positive side of yourself you need to add that positivity in your life This is 2002 for you. This is 2002 focus for you in life. So, issue of going to a mountain. Mountain can be in that quiet place in your room. Can be in that quiet place in your parlor. It can be in that quiet place in your kitchen. It can be in that quiet place in your bedroom. Or maybe you are living in a house where there is a crowded place. 
you will not have time to meditate one thing of the other you can still find a place outside your home outside your house find a quiet place where you can meditate and um, but we won't know one thing mother your mind you must liberate it you must find this sense nice you must understand what they call a forgiveness when you are forgiving somebody no one thing that forgiveness is does not mean that you are helping the other person you are helping yourself forgiveness is help you it liberates you it liberates you because by so doing you are opening another person door you are opening another person door by so opening to another person door your door will be open by so doing you will be opening their door so you are planning to go to mountain somebody say we are going to mountain on this you want it. I advise you mountain you are with the mountain mountain is with you mountain is your mindset mountain is you is you yourself is in your mind let nobody deceive you that you are going to mountain to go and collect your so key you are going to the mountain to go and collect your so key to open this one all these are vanity upon vanity i tell you you will see today they want to run program they will say today program is jump and pass the other day they, they will bring another poster uh, jump and cross they will title everything crossover crossover over cross over cross give different kind of titles just to confuse you Ma- why i want to emphasize on this mountain is this if you want mountain is like when you want to is if, if you want to go to your knees to god you need to liberate your mind your inner self you need to free your mind you need to free your mindset your mindset when your mindset is free when you have that spirit of forgiveness eh, you are praying to god it's easily for god to answer you and you are praying to god don't say ah mr b is doing this is making it what about me no god does not answer such kind of prayer don't refer anybody when you are praying to god because you don't know you cannot know what that person is doing on another side of life when you are presenting yourself because god you present yourself because you're, you're, you're yourself totally. You don't need to compare yourself with another person. Because God knows each and every one of us. When you begin to compare what it's like, you want to tell God that uh, you want to teach God his work. You want to tell God what to do. All we do when we preach, when we pray, we only pray to God. It's only God that answers our prayer. We just we only utter our prayers to God, but let God answer your prayer. So wherever you're watching, you are welcome to today's. So. This is Mega Video Pro for you. This is Mega Video Pro. This 2022. We talk about focus. In tonight, wherever you are watching from, wherever. We talk about focus. You need to focus one thing in life. You need to focus in life. 2022 talk about focusing this is not time to begin to say at the end of the year at the end of next month at the end of uh, December 
or waste that you you need to understand one thing one thing is this you can never be ready for anything there's no time you will be ready to do anything there's no time you will say i'm ready to do this thing readiness is one thing that can never happen until you get started doing it that you are good today does not mean that you are a christian that you are good today does not mean that you are a muslim that you are good today does not mean that you are a hindu that you are good today does not mean that you are this you choose to be good does not matter what kind of religion you practice that's why when people ask me which religion am I? I said I am who I am because God will not see me as a Muslim or a Christian. God will see me as who I am, who I present. God will see me as my character, as as the person, as that person I am. So in life, you need to do the best you can and leave the rest for God. Don't let any human being to determine who you are. Don't let any human being to deceive you, to tell you what to do. Don't let anybody to judge you. Only thing in life is you have to choose what you want to become. You choose to be good because doing good pays. You reap whatever thing you sow. If you choose to be bad, it's left for you. But you choose to be good because of not so-called what you call, you say you are a Christian, you are a Muslim, whatever thing. That good is in is your inner self because we have a lot of good people in the Muslim community. We have a lot of good people in Christian community. We have a lot of people in other religion community. Because one thing we should understand is this. That God made everything and said everything is good. He said everything is good. God never created religion. So, on my focus today, I was talking about mountain, 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 mountain. You, before going to mountain, you need to liberate your mindset. Liberate your mindset. Your mind should be free. It's hard time you free your mind from certain things don't wait till tomorrow don't wait till next week don't wait till next year before you free your mind from one thing or the other i know it's very it's a painful something for somebody to offend you and you just you just let it go one thing or the other even the evil even let me let me just use this opportunity you that is evil you that think that when you commit, you just ask for forgiveness, that is just over. I understand one thing, that somebody forgive you does not mean that you cannot reap what you sow. The scriptures say, you reap what you sow. So that somebody forgive you does not mean that you not reap what you sow. That person is just paving way for himself. That person is just letting go. That person is just letting go because that person wants to free his inner inner mindset. That person wants to free that space of positivity. Because when we talk of positive positive things in life, we talk about God. We talk about God likeness. Because God said, I made you in my own likeness. So if you want to be like God likeness, you should Clear every negativity in your life and fill it with your positive vibes in life. Be who you are. Choose to be good. It's very, it's very good in life. So, my brothers and sisters, mountain does not mean those physical places you went to and pray. It does not mean 
going to here climbing going traveling 100 kilometers to go to different places and they want to pray for people to say you are praying i see some people they are going for prayer they will be up with their camera they will be wanting of their wanting they want to let you know that they are on top of this mountain they are on top of this hill i live in a city of uh, Moscatini, italy here we have a lot of mountains surrounding me here that does not mean that until i get to those mountains that god will not hear my prayer god is omnipotent god god is omnipotent god that wherever you call his name he hears you god bless his handwork the handwork of his people he bless the handwork of his people God does not bless you because you travel 100 kilometers to go and pray. God does not bless you because you travel here and there. You say you are you are uh, preaching the gospel of God. God bless you. God bless you through the work of your hand. Through what you possess. Through what you do to your fellow human being. He say, whatsoever you do to my fellow human being, so you do to me. you are going to mountain somebody is talking about mountain 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 speak about that quiet place in your mind i've seen a lot of people this you can drop your mess message Private message wherever you're watching. Uh, you are highly welcome, uh, Don Williams. Thank you for being online with me. Please, you can help me share the message also. Glory, Amorodio. Thank you for being online. Thank you. Appreciate your efforts. So, tomorrow, I will. I will announce the time, the time and the on the topic today. So, what am I trying to say? That uh, we should be wary of the message we hear. We should be wary of the kind of things we hear, things we follow, the kind of message we follow. That is mountain for you. Mountain, it talks about that quiet place. That Jesus left his apostles and went and prayed. He went to mountain, went to a hidden place and prayed. He is telling you that Jesus left them. Jesus want to be alone. Jesus want to come in. Jesus want a dark quiet place that nobody will distract him. That there's nothing that will bring obstacle. There's nothing that will distract him from one thing or the other while praying, while concentrating. That is why they say Jesus went to Soso Martin, Jesus went to Mount Olive, Jesus went to this one. There's nothing wrong going to others mountain as I'm saying this, but one thing you understand is this. If you know really that God is omnipotent God, God is everywhere, I hope by now you begin to get the point where I'm going to that God is not in only in that place you think you are going. God is in with you. Emmanuel, God is with you. God is with us. God is everywhere. 
God is not living in heaven, but God is in everywhere. Omnipotent God means that God is in everywhere, meaning He's in heaven, He's here, He's in anywhere you can think of, anywhere your mind can think of. God is there. When whatever it's only a fool, Bible says it's only a fool that will say there is no God. But it depends how on how you apply all these things. That's why Jesus said to the he said, Whatsoever you do to my fellow human being is what you do to me. I will ask you today now, for example, now what are your contributions on this earth? What are your contribution on this earth? What are your contribution to your human race? Are you solving a problem or you are creating one? Because tomorrow I have I will figure um I have a topic to run tomorrow that I will be announced on this channel because I see a lot of things going on that I want to the issue going on on the internet that I want to treat. I want to be focused this 2022 because I've seen that God is not all that interested in what you tend to but God is interested in God is interested on your action God is not interested on what you intend to. God is interested in whatever thing you can do. So, I will leave every one of you for now. By tomorrow, it's late. We're almost midnight. So, I'll be leaving for now. Thanks. Oh, it's...